Good morning, family. I purchased this wet and forget outdoor for from Costco to see if I can kind of get my sidewalks and my driveway and see if it will work. So it was about twenty nine dollars. I've kept, I have the instruction pad. Um, and it says all you got to do is attach your hose, spray it on the area, and over time it uh, removes the algae, and the, which was what I have, all the residue and algae. It does say it's for um, concrete, bricks, things of that nature. So we're going to give it a try um, and see if this stuff really works. And again, I have the 1-800 number, so if it doesn't, I will be calling them to get my $29 back. But here we go. I will show you the end results and check back in a day or two since it says it moves removes it over time. So I'm gonna give it a few more day few extra days to work also. Okay. Here we are back again. I have sprayed. I have sprayed the driveway twice. I have a six car driveway and I have the sidewalk in the front entry step. And um, I also had opportunity to spray the garage door and uh, the eaves around it. So it suds up, it was real thick suds all over the place. And you can see where the suds are turning colors, hopefully, but they're turning like an orange. So I guess it's doing its job. It does say wet and forget so do not rinse it doesn't say anything about rinsing um, and I do see these little spots and stuff that's hunks of soap that's at work I guess and I don't know that it's gonna do what I need done because I might have been beyond doing something like this but I could see it really working on like a house with siding if you did it once a year to avoid having to do a full pressure wash maybe but the verdict is still out we are waiting we're gonna set it and forget it we have a rainstorm tomorrow um, so that's gonna finish washing it all away we have even the sidewalk is still dark I don't know if it's gonna accomplish what I needed to accomplish but it may work for someone else's needs I just need it way more I guess but we'll we'll see we're gonna give it the time it needs it says wet it and forget it so let's forget it for a while and check back in a day or two and I'll um, put all the, the beginning and end in one video hello family this is day the next day after the wet it and forget it and I personally see a difference even though I need it cleaner, I do see a difference. It did not do as well as it should have on the sidewalk area. But we are still waiting for a big rain. So I'm going to also take a next, another look at it after it rains to see what happens. But yeah, it's like still some really, really dark spots. So maybe it'll still be working and the rain will help wash some of the rest of it away. But yeah, this is where we are now. It did lighten up some, but again, I think this product is more for a light wash and I needed a full, full power wash because this is not gonna work for what I need to accomplish, like not getting letters from the HOA. So. We'll see, but it, it did lighten up some areas. So if you need a light wash, I'll say it works, but not for a real wash. But I'll um, give it another day and see if anything changes after this heavy rain we're about to get. Stay tuned. Okay, so the verdict is in. It's been um, about four or five days, two rainstorms, and look at this. I'm going to say wet and forget is only for light cleanings, not for heavy. My HOA has written me a letter. I want to get this clean, but I don't have $300 to pressure wash, to pay someone to pressure wash. 
so um that this will not be a quick fix to appease an hoa this is uh, a light rinse so i give it a thumbs down for my purposes but if you just want a light rinse of your stucco house or your um aluminum siding house maybe uh it may work for those purposes but not for a driveway that's pretty much deeply soiled it gave it it was like hmm, on a one to ten it did a job of a two so i am going to give this a thumbs down but on the other note it's been raining. Like I said, we've had two rainstorms. And we got pretty, pretty flowers. The seeds are growing. That was the wildflower Dollar Tree mix. And I'll give you an interesting story about this. This is so pretty. I do not want it to come missing from my yard. But I actually dug it up in my grandmother's, I mean, in my aunt's yard. My aunt um, was like, yeah, I just threw that out here and I guess it sunk in the ground and you can have it if you want to. You know, I gladly took that because that is so beautiful just to throw in the yard as land um, landscape decorations. So added that. And again, we just had a rain. Blueberries are doing well. Those are either probably like blue basil that's popping up. Whatever I put in here, which I want to say is like cilantro, I'm having trouble growing because it is not coming up. And then I think I did some lemon balm and some more blue basil from Baker Creek. So those are popping up. It's been about two or three weeks. And we got good action on our pink lemonade blueberries. I'm gonna get a big pot and put two more blueberries in just so I'll have a variety out here and have like a, you know, good good selection of blueberries. But on the wet and forget, it's a no. I don't know if I'm gonna to have to call them or write it off as a loss, but it is what it is. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hit that like button, comment, subscribe. If you want to see more of me gardening, maintaining an, an H, uh, garden in an HOA, um, maintaining the grass and appearances in an HOA, and just general single motherhood, enjoying life, cooking, hauls, shopping, touring garden centers, all that good stuff. Look for it. To my next video thank you for watching have a great day